clap if you have no idea who this is. What is up, Voodoo Tribe? It is your girl, Naja here, aka The Voodoo Child. And we are back with another Get Ready With Me rant video where basically I get ready and we talk about pop culture or anything that's just really going on it like within the week or so you know like just shooting the sh just shooting the sh just pretending you know like we're just getting ready together i'm about to do my hair so yeah if you're doing that hey <laughs> but if not that's what's up too so before i get into uh my little topics that i want to touch on while i'm getting ready i do want to talk about uh one of my segments on this channel, my Tri T segment, because I am aware that there are some people out there who, you know, they do like my commentaries, but they miss uh, the live streams and stuff. And I feel you. Um, just to get a little, you know, personal, I'm like, you know, in therapy and stuff. And like, I just don't think like I'm in the right mental space for that. Um, I'm down for going live and stuff, but I don't know. If you want more, like, info on that like the personal aspects go over to my vlog channel i'm about to drop a video um and it'll just go more in depth and more personal because i don't want to get too personal on this video like about me you know like and my emotional stuff because your girl has been kind of sad like and whenever i get sad i like to distract myself with celebrity memoirs and <laughs> other b social media bullshit so that's why we are here am i anybody else like bro whenever i'm doing crappy i'm like you know what let me go talk some shit about some rich people <laughs> <laughs> or what grinds my gears about these these people i do have a list of topics as always, because being the Gemini I am, I cannot stay on track without a list. And please don't let this scare y'all. This is a mannequin. <laughs> so here, what's my first thing on my list? Okay, so. Oh my gosh, guys. Hell hath frozen over. Because... Rylan and Shane have officially tied the knot. Congratulations to Rylan <laughs> because I boy been waiting on that. So they finally got hitched. They went to the courthouse. No shade in that. I mean, bro, a lot of people do. Um, the thing that was funny to me though was. <laughs> The thing that was funny to me was when they were at the courthouse and the lady behind the counter rung the bell to like let everybody in there know like, hey, it's official, they tied the knot. Rylan like ran to get the camera like, oh my God, it's an authentic moment that we don't have to fake that's happening. Cause I don't know about y'all and people could call me a Shane hater all they want. I even had one girl be like, well, she admitted that she's a she's a hater, that she hates Shane. I'm like, bro, that man don't like me. He racist. <laughs> anyway, it's it just gives me like family prank channel vibes. It's like between Shane doing a baby voice all the time and just the whole oh, guys, what's going on? There's something creepy and supernatural going on. And guess what it is? nothing <laughs> like it gives absolutely nothing every fucking time it just it's always feels really force-fed the cameraman sucks like it's just at this point you okay here's the thing i think the disconnect is is because of the economy and stuff we common folk okay y'all got money we don't want to see y'all flex in our face, but we also don't want y'all to fucking piss in our face and act like you don't have a more interesting life because of your money. Don't be a Kylie and try to flex luxury cars like Jeffrey be doing. That's not what I'm saying because you know that's going to backfire. I'm talking about um, like actually do cool stuff on some Mr. B shit that y'all could afford to do. Like go skydiving and no shade to Shane 
to Shane's weight because I lost weight on YouTube as well. Like I wasn't always the size I am. Um, I would much rather like to see that from Shane. I would love to see a transformation video of Shane, of him like losing weight, cleaning his, his beard up and like, you know, like I would love that for him and I would actually watch that. Everybody loves a good transformation and redemption, you know, like I'm down for that. I just don't care for the fake ghost stories, the fake pat, like I just don't care. Congrats that y'all got married though because honestly, Rylan, he had you looking crazy. <laughs> he had you looking crazy, Ry Ry. So I'm glad you got your um your insurance. <laughs> Speaking of common folk and po being poor <laughs> and looking at the rich from afar, <laughs> um, let's talk about this Doja Cat outfit and this Kylie outfit and this fashion show that just happened. I'm here for the avant-garde camp look um when it comes to doja i would have put a lash on her if, am i alone y'all how y'all feel about that i would have put a lash on her and i would have made like sharp um like sharp drag gemstones for her eyebrows like a sharp villain brow and give her some lashes that would have ate so that that looks crazy y'all don't don't think i'm i'm that crazy all right that's that's not the end result okay it's not the end result all right it's hard doing this and talking at the same time okay so what was i talking about okay yeah doja really could do that now naomi kylie first off they set kylie up to look stupid as hell and i feel like this era of fashion of not going towards the male gaze anymore and going towards the female gaze it's kind of like they're clowning the previous it girls the previous pickneys in the fashion industry that only got into the fashion industry for being pickneys which would be the kardashians right um because look at doja they're treating her like you know because she earned her spot by being so extra in the fashion space you know like she didn't just um out of nowhere started dressing wild like you could look at old footage of doja and see her um, on stage with like green wigs and stuff like that. Like baby has always been fashion. Don't get it twisted. But I feel like they did set her up to like laugh at her like Kylie. Um, because obviously there were other pieces with the animal thing, right? Um, so as for the animal heads, I think the animal heads were very distasteful. Um, I used to be a vegan for a point in time uh, I'm no longer for health reasons, but it's just like, I think that's very extra. I think it sends a certain message. Um, and I don't think that it's encouraging people to poach animals. No, it's sending the message of your wealth. We have the biggest wealth gap, like even bigger than the French with Marie Antoinette. And it was chopping people freaking hands off. Okay. And y'all are over here bragging about like, no. So another crazy thing is Alec Baldwin is about to be found guilty of I don't know if y'all remember but Alec Baldwin was on the movie set and he accidentally shot the director and you know how like they always say um oh I know the cameraman must have been scared like when they be looking at rap videos and stuff like no real shit this lady was um filming it like this and she wanted him to shoot in the camera for those y'all that don't know or don't remember um and she he thought it was a blank in there it was not a blank and she ended up dying everybody was blaming it on everybody alec wanted to blame it on um the prop director for the gun the prop director for the gun wanted to blame it on alec because he, they said they shared responsibility for checking the weapon right um and apparently the law agrees child they're like oh that was your job that was also your job we're gonna have to punish you as well do i think what's happening right now is fair i don't know honestly i'm torn because alec ball was not no spring chicken he's been doing this for a long time and like I mean, you should know, like, I don't know, you should know. And then another part of me is like, 
gun safety in general, like, should we just, regardless if it's a prop or not, should, shouldn't we just, like, treat it like it's real to prevent um, this type of shit happening? Because, uh, um, you're not supposed to be having no guns pointed in your freaking face. Period. Like, at all. Speaking of getting shot, y'all heard of the little six-year-old boy that shot his teacher? Six! Six! Bro, this is America. Six years old. Six years old shot his teacher. Six years old. Like, I don't think y'all are letting this sink in. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me... Six years old! Like, bro, my dog is a child! Like, are you kidding me? Six years old. He ain't even a teenager or nothing. Like... I'm praying for my teachers out there, dude. Like, what the hell is wrong with these kids and their parents? So my thing is, this lady been warning people for the longest. Like, hey, uh, well, homie is talking crazy about me. Like, they're about to do something. Um, hello? <laughs> Anybody there to hear my plea? No one took it seriously. I'm talking the the jet even was talking about they were gonna shoot her to other people. So that's why I'm really confused. Like so Jet walking around saying he's gonna do it. What made me think about this is because the parents or the mom decided to go on the news. Something's not connecting, something's not clicking because girl, I'm sorry, I'm putting my baby under the jail. But you know what? That's not fair because it's like your lack of um gun safety is why this kid is even in this situation in the first place. And of course she's gonna be on here. Oh, we practice gun safety and I, girl, bye. Oh, and by the way, if any of you guys want the hair details of anything I'm using in this video, um, this isn't a sponsored video, so I don't have any like codes or anything specifically related to this hair. Um, I did buy this hair with my own money. Any wigs that I have or units or clip-ons or anything that I get with my own money, will be in um on my amazon storefront and the link is going to be in the description and um yeah just for the heck of it if i have any like hair related coupons i can give you um i will put those in the description as well and uh to help you guys out if you do buy anything that i'm using just to be give you full disclosure i will be making a very very small <laughs> monetary gain from your purchase <laughs> Ooh, so something really cool happened our girl paris hilton is a mother guys congratulations to paris hilton now what i will say is she posted her baby right and she posted the baby's hand here's my thing with y'all gen x people y'all don't even let y'all babies get a chance y'all gotta put that damn blur filter or put something like these babies don't be having no type of chance in the world. Y'all be so damn quick to just put these filters. So you got this damn filter Photoshop hand. <laughs> like, girl, what are you? <laughs> I would be like, mom, are you kidding me? If, if she put that damn filter on me. Like, are you be fucking for real, mother? Um, no, ma'am. Y'all need to stop it. If that isn't a sign that Instagram has gotten too professional, I don't know what is. Oh my God, I need chapstick, girl, like yesterday. <laughs> I'm actually probably about to do my makeup on my vlog channel when I'm talking about like my personal business because I'm, I'm actually liking my no makeup look right now. And I only have two more topics to talk about. But yeah, guys, like, Please stop photoshopping your babies. Like, it's really weird. It's really messed up. And I know some people will argue, well, they did that back in the day. And it's like, yeah, and it looked weird back then, too. Like, stop. <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to talk about is Beyonce. Um, a lot of people were mad that Beyonce went to Dubai. Now, hear me out. This is how I feel about it, right? Some of, some of y'all Beyonce fans be making up all these excuses for Beyonce, right? And this is just one thing that I have just come to acceptance with, with getting older and, you know, 
these celebrities do not share the same values as you and these billionaires are not good people <laughs> they do it for the check every time and i'm not surprised like bro that whole album was amazing that album was amazing that shit was great bitch like what um but i'm not gonna lie it was heavily influenced by um ballroom queer culture from coast to coast and uh yeah we gotta keep it a buck that was a gay ass album and you're in dubai, <laughs> dubai. but seeing people online being like well girl she had to get you would do it for a check too look what they pay in america versus girl she's beyonce she's rich talking about you would do it for a check too yeah because we're poor beyonce got options girly you saw how she had to tell blue to calm down though <laughs> blue oh my god i love her so much i love little blue no blue slander on this page i'll eat you the fuck up um anyway yes blue was she was in her uzi b was like hey <laughs> not here not here baby but yeah it's my necessary evil with beyonce with rihanna it's like even though i know i like your music and stuff it's like girl y'all are not right <laughs> and it's like time after time and then look at the men they choose girl like i just don't even want to get into it but as for all the beyonce dubai slander i feel like it's not just and i feel like the people of dubai um i mean do you think they like all the rules there too no and how everybody's always like oh then leave like like how they say here in america oh, if you don't like the rules then leave it's not that freaking simple leaving your family everything you know like obviously there are people you know i come from immigrants like there are people who move to make their life better but i mean shit dude and don't make fun of my damn wig cap i know y'all can see it but i'm trying to straighten it from the roots okay but yeah y'all need to stop defending these billionaires it's like so my generation we have um oh rihanna we let that rihanna shit slide right and gen z let's grime slide and uh gen x let's beyonce slide um and when it comes to men gen x men be letting jay-z slide it's all historical like it just the the at the end of the day we just got to realize that like they're not good because they could be sharing the wealth but they don't so the last thing i want to talk about while i do the other half of my head um is no jumper and no i'm not talking about Krishan. no i'm not talking about blue face I did. I was so serious when I told y'all I'm not doing that this year. Y'all go watch my things. We're leaving. Like, I'm not doing it. It's toxic. Someone's going to get hurt. And the only thing I will say about that interview is what Gina said is how she knows somebody. Like, her sister is like Krayshawn and all that shit. Well, Gina, if you watching an ether, I'm going to ask you this. Did you not ever have that thought of you're either going to be dead or in jail? Just because you're friends with one of them more than the other doesn't mean that the one you favor is not going to be the dead one. Because I had those thoughts about somebody else close to me as well that has a very similar relationship to them. Um, to Krayshawn and Blue. And uh, yeah. It's not great. <laughs> it's not great picking up those pieces at their loved one. Like, goes through that type of stuff. Like, I'm telling you, bro. That shit's not cute to me. I don't, I'm not feeding into that shit. Well, I wanted to talk about is adam what's his last name sir mason or some shit grand mason what the fuck is that evil ass nigga name let me stop <laughs> that white devil what is his name <laughs> no seriously this man be operating like the white suge knight and shit bro no dead ass like i fuck with a few people from no jumper bro and like in the past i was like you know what i might be you know reach out because that's all you got to do is just reach out to be talent over there but after seeing how people moved and seeing how certain talents that i fuck with this shit be treated i was like bro i'm about to stay away i don't like um 
and I don't know, maybe it's because, you know, I'm bipolar. I'm a little, I, what some people would call neurospicy. I don't get a kick out of people who make others the butt of jokes and, like, set niggas up, bro. And Adam set House Phone up and outed his sexuality. And for those of y'all that don't know what's going on, um, one of the castmates on No Jumper was talking to a trans woman and unfortunately what some of the girls do to come up is they like to expose men um who slept with them when it's like girl in reality like i'm not gonna get too deep into it but it's like sis are you not presenting as as a woman like wouldn't you want them to be uh turned on by your femininity and like validate you as a like I don't know I feel like whenever the girls be doing that shit when some of the dogs be doing that shit it's like it's invalidating to other trans women who ain't on that gotcha you know because that's one of the stereotypes about oh girl I just let me back up <laughs> that's one of the um stereotypes about trans people in general is just the whole oopsie you've been tricked to the point where there's even like a a gay panic defense that people could use like i don't know bruh i don't like that whole shtick because it just pushes us further away from where we really need to be um and kudos to house Fawn for standing in his truth and being like yes i am attracted to trans women i date trans women something happened unfortunately because of the misogynistic platform i'm on i have to tell you guys my intimacy and that you know i don't take or receive no peen like i had to freaking expose the genitals because this bitch done put us in an awkward situation like it's i just didn't like that and then the interview okay so some the tea for y'all that don't know what's going on because i know i'm probably just like rambling for those that don't um adam 22 got this girl on his platform who he already knew before the interview but the T was is Adam is a star and he is white. So there is like a cultural difference going on of you being a white male in a sex industry where you also do things with other men. Like I'm not saying like like I'm talking you doing threesomes with another guy, which is like something that's not really talked about openly in the black community because of views of um What's it called? Homophobia. Like, we got a lot of shit going on over here, bro. Things are going on, but we don't talk about it. Right? So Adam, over here, in his old sexual liberated ass, talking to this girl, and she's spilling the tea. Like, yeah, I smashed one of your people. And he's like, oh shit, this is great. Come on here and expose them. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Is that not your friend? Like, fuck that. Is that not your coworker? Like, any other job? bro i'm suing the fuck out of you like i'm suing you for discrimination with my bisexual ass like i'm sorry i am like any other job you would have got in trouble adam you can't do shit like that like that shit is just so crazy to me and then um he took it down in the interview itself he tried to blur out names and shit and i'm just like bro we all know who you're talking about like and then at the end of the interview, after you spent all that energy blurring out names, A1 engineer, I feel like Shane Dawson's freaking chomo editor and his mushmouth cameraman are way better than whoever the fuck conducted this shit. You spent all that time making sure that his name wasn't spoke just for the end of the interview to be like, yeah, my bad, house phone. Bro, I'm sorry, house phone, bro. I was too the fuck out of Adam. I will sue him because I seen all of y'all LA niggas going to bat for him on all these different platforms because niggas do not fuck with Adam, bro. Niggas don't fuck with him. And people even they be saying, House Phone has even said before, people come to him on the streets and be like, do you really fuck with that for <laughs> I All my prayers to the people of color at No Jumper and all my prayers to the women at No Jumper, specifically Gina. Like, this is not cute at all. This isn't it. But that's all my little pop culture rant for the day. I hope you guys like my hair, how it turned out. Again, all the info will be in the description. Um, please go and look at my tech conspiracy theory video if you haven't already. 
you should. I'm going to make a part two because I found out a little bit more stuff. Emphasis on a little bit. It's like two new theories and I'm probably going to drop that tomorrow, honestly, because I need to get this stuff out and get out of this damn depressive funk. And yeah, I'm going to talk more about that on my other channel. I don't want to get too personal again. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out. And let me know what you guys think about any of the things that I spoke about in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I can't wait till I get you on the floor. Good looking. Hey, going out so hot, you just like it of it. And I don't burn my stuff, I just had to touch it. It's so fine. It's so fine.